Live from Los Angeles, welcome back to Good Morning La La Land on this hashtag International Women's Day. It's an honor to celebrate with Natalie Manuel Lee. Thank you for being with us today. Thank you for having me. Congratulations on your new series, by the Thank way. Thank you Have so up. much. I think our missions are very much aligned. Yes. Tell us about Now with Natalie. Yeah, so Now with Natalie is a six part docu-series on the Hillsong Channel. Um, and it's cultivated around identity and purpose. I think that as a culture and as a society, we have the bandwidth and the propensity to think that we have to be something in order to feel worth, in order to feel valued. Um, a lot of our culture tells us that what we do defines who we are, and that's an absolute lie. Um, and, and some of your guests, though, are, are people with the most celebrity and notoriety, your first yes. interview with Haley Bieber. Oh, yes. It's amazing. Yes. That interview is amazing. Oh, yeah, thank you. The, the thank you. The yeah. pressure that and the cliches and the stereotypes that she's going to have to break through. She sure is. Yeah. So what have you found is the common denominator with these celebrities and, and what it is to mean they're finding their purpose and living their truth? Yeah. The common denominator is one that they all compare themselves. You know, we all have that propensity to do that. But also the common denominator and the common thread is that their faith has been a pillar in their life. Their faith has been that compass that has been able to direct them in and through the industry. Why do you think it's now that the conversation about faith is so relevant and timely? Because look at the plight of humanity. Look where we're at as a culture and as a society and where we are. Our focus is all on the wrong things except for the right things. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel like truth is hidden in places where it can't be seen. So right now I just saw the need of we need to have these conversations now. So what is your story of faith? I'm sure for most of, of everyone, mostly women, whatever, all of us have had a moment. We've had a moment where yeah. we had to get down on our knees and, and no faith at a level Yeah, we never knew it before. What was that moment for you? Oh, good question. Financial. Mm -hmm. Financial need. I moved here about 10 years ago, had nothing. But I knew that I felt the Lord say, it's time for you to go to L.A., pursue your dreams, pursue what I've called you to do. But I literally had nothing. But I had to put my trust in everything in Him. And now look where we are today. It's a journey, but it's worth it. You know, one of the quotes that stood out in that Haley Bieber interview um, was around, she said, um, the challenge that I face is to stand out without forcing it. Yes. Right? Yes. So how do you do that? How, what have you discovered has been helpful in standing out without forcing it and without stepping outside of your integrity? Yeah, that's a great question. Be yourself your authentic self. And I think a lot of times we think that we have to perform for identity, but I always say that we perform from identity as opposed to for it. So we don't have to be this thing in order to fill something. We already are that thing. And so that's where the authenticity can be, if you will. Right. I love that. We always talk about in spirituality that the entire work of all of it is just an identity shift back to the I am. That's all it is. That's like, it. Up, there, there you go. go. Right? Yeah. So, I mean, how do women do that? Because, I mean, you just can't help but get caught up in, in some of this stuff unless you've done an immense amount of work. Yeah. So for you, you have this, this practice in the morning. What other practices have you seen that really work for these women that keep their faith really strong? What kind of communities, what kind of ways do they keep it straight? You need to have community. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of times, obviously, again, we're in a social media saturated world that I isolation is kind of what's happening right now. But we were born and created for connection. And I think that as women and as men, we need community. We need those groups. We need those people that can tell us when we're wrong and tell us when we're right. And we can we need those people to cheer us on. And also the affirmations in the morning are a big thing. If you can look at yourself in the mirror and say, I am more than a conqueror. I am accepted. I am redeemed. I am whole. And really believe it and know it, it'll shift your perspective in your day. Oh, I love sure. that. Who are some of the other men and women of faith that you'll be featuring on it? Um, Tyson Chandler, an LA Laker. Mm -hmm. Kelly Rowland, music star. Um, Jerry Lorenzo, he's actually my brother, um, creator and founder of Fear of God. Angela Davis, Angela Manuel Davis, and Elaine Welteroff. Nice. Wow. Nobody yes. we've ever heard of. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. so we have a look at Now with Natalie. Let's take it. Awesome. Why do we do what we do? There are whole industries devoted to convincing us the path to happiness is through consumption. Buy this product, wear this brand, use this filter, know this person, and you'll be satisfied. Projections of picture-perfect lives overtake our social media feeds, making it difficult to distinguish truth from the highlights reel. 
I'm Natalie Manuel Lee, and in this series, we'll be cutting through the noise and cliches to explore what living in your purpose actually looks like. I'll be speaking with people at the top of their industry, from the world of entertainment, fashion, sport, and health, to find out how they navigate this world and focus on what is really important. So, how do you really know when you're living in your purpose? I think that we have to realize that we're always on purpose, yeah. in purpose. We were always born with purpose as well. Um, T.D. Jakes, as we all know, mm. he's so, amazing. so powerful. Mm -hmm. He says this one thing that helps me and helps a lot of people. He says, even if it's not the thing, it's the thing leading to the thing. So we're always in purpose because we need what we do today for our tomorrow. The Love suffering that. is like you're being called right now. This yeah. is what it looks like. Exactly. Right? <laughs> and you need those things that you go through and that today to sustain you for where God has oh, called you to be. I love that Zen philosophy. They yes. The obstacle is the path. It's the path. It the and I path. always say, if you don't have obstacles, how are you going to grow? Yeah. You know what I mean? How are you going to really strengthen yourself and, and expand? You have to have trials and tribulations yeah. Yeah. in order to evolve. How exciting is it to see your trailer? Like when you this swim. Trailer, I feel awesome. like it's like my baby's out there in the world is seeing it. I feel so naked, great. but it's exciting. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, I think it's, it's thank you. It's a I'm your baby. Tell yeah. Yeah. where they can find it. And yes. Watch. So Hillsong Channel, um, it's every Sunday at 7.30 Pacific PM. And then if you miss it, hillsongchannel.com backslash Natalie. Love it. Congratulations. Yes, thank you so much.